Okay, so question number one, at batshit crazy. Trumpers are losing their minds. Are you batshit crazy or do you stand by the done in 30? Well, I don't think I'm certifiably crazy. Uh, in fact, when, when I was tested by the Marine Corps, I had an IQ of 145. There were only two guys in my, in my company that had higher IQs in the 160s. I was very impressed by that. But I also am off the scale on abstract reading, reasoning, which is one of the highest forms of intelligence. And I am the only person that all of you know who is a former Marine Corps officer who's had top secret uh, sensitive compartment and information clearances his whole life uh, as an adult. Uh, the only person you know who's a former CIA spy who passed one of the most rigorous personal um, investigations possible, including lifestyle polygraph tests at, at least two, maybe three occasions in my 20-year in my, um, top secret career. Um, and I'm also the top reviewer for nonfiction with over 2,000 summary reviews posted. And I mean, among the people I consider my peers are David Icke and uh, Sasha Stone, uh, and at a, at a lesser level, because they don't have my lifetime of depth and breadth of publications and thinking, although they are stars in their own right, Charlie Ward, uh, Sheriff Mack, uh, uh, Simon um, Parks. I'm moving in circles most people never see, never even know exist. Uh, and I would simply say to you that I don't think I'm batshit crazy. I think I'm one of the most thoughtful people around. And I think there's a thirst for truth. There's a thirst for knowledge. Now, what I have done is I've posted uh, to Phi Beta Iota two things that were in previous steel reports. And you can find them easily by searching for uh, five levels of play. So I posted my five levels of play in 5D chess, and you can also search for stages of intellectual growth. But if you go to Phi Beta Iota today, you'll see them at the top. So the five stages of intellectual growth that I have gone through over the last uh, 68 years are until I left the Marine Corps, I very naively assumed that truth was the default. It's not. The second level of uh, intellectual growth is where you know that lies are the default. And that's where I think 70, uh, 70 million people in America are today. And the rest of the world that loves Trump and believes in Trump and thinks he's coming back, they're there also. They now know that lies are the default. The third level of intellectual growth is consciousness as a force for good. The fourth level is understanding that everything is energy in some form. And people like David Icke and John Rapoport are clearly at that level, as well as Sasha Stone and myself. The fifth level is stellar civilizations abound. The sixth level, I'm sorry, is stellar civilizations abound. I'm not quite ready to put myself there because I haven't actually, although I've met some people who claim to be extraterrestrials, I'm not persuaded. And I'm really looking to people like John Peterson and David Icke and others uh, for, for that area. The sixth level is frequencies manage and manifest energy. Now, Cynthia McKinney and I were both briefed by a retired NASA uh, PhD who said she had watched objects being thrown through glass and go through glass when you get the K-band frequency exactly dialed in. And I've recently reviewed The Mu Music of Time by Preston James, really extraordinary book. Although I have no direct knowledge, I'm quite persuaded that dialing in frequencies is how you do time travel and how you do benign telepathy and, and things like that. But I'm not there, certainly. And then number seven is time and space travel achieved by mind control. And I'm certainly not there. Um, but I do believe that that is the seventh level. And I do believe that that is where the positive stellar civilizations are. And I do believe that we're in the middle of a stellar global uh, war, actually an international, uh, a cosmic war, in which an earth war is also going on in the, in the shadows. Now, the five levels of play in 5D chess that I think of, level one is the mundane bullshit that you see on MSNBC, CNN, the New York Times, Washington Post, and now Fox News, which has become absolutely worthless. Level two is the economic reset and cyber war. That is a war in the shadows. That is um, Nassara Gassara. That is uh, basically Donald Trump versus uh, uh, 
Schwab and Gates and Soros and the United Kingdom. Let me say very clearly, the British Empire is the enemy of the United States of America and has been waging war on the United States in partnership with the NATO countries and the military industrial complex in the United States. And I believe that this is the, the, the deep war that's being fought right now. Level three is cultural warfare, inclusive of mass propaganda, uh, media lies, and mind control. And you can go to 5.8iota.net and look up Mind Control. You can read the excellent book by Daniel Estelin on uh, Tavistock um, and, and so forth. Level four is scalar warfare, energetics, gravitobiology, remote electromagnetic effects. 5G is a major aspect of this war now being played out on, uh, on this planet. And I believe we will move beyond 5G. I believe that stellar civilizations are neutralizing some of the more pernicious effects. I also believe there's going to be a radiological false flag event, possibly in Los Angeles, I mean, in uh, Las Vegas very soon. They're already hiring discreetly private uh, crisis actors. And then finally, level five, cosmic stellar civilizations, the epic battle of good God versus evil Satan. So those are the levels in which I think if you think I'm batshit crazy, you should unsubscribe immediately. If you don't, then let us go forward together and see what we can see as uh, we go along. I am talking to Juan O. Savin, a pseudonym, not his real name, on a daily basis. I'm talking to others. I believe that we will see extraordinary change in the U.S. government for the better uh, between now and the 4th of March. Uh, and some final changes by the 1st of April. Now, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will either move to Texas and uh, support whatever secessionist movement Texas wants to put forward, because I don't want to be part of an America in which two pieces of shit are occupying the White House. This is not us. Um, or I'll go to Indonesia or, or Thailand. But I'd rather stay and help fight for the country, and Texas seems to be where the patriots are going to mass. I want to say in conclusion to this answer on the batshit crazy question, I am hugely in favor of nonviolence. I am extremely pleased that the Trumpers have not lost their minds and have not come out shooting. It is absolutely imperative that we not tarnish the president's reputation or um, divert attention or undermine what is going on in the background by greater minds than mine and greater minds than yours. I think we simply need to be aware, conscious, and we need to be praying and meditating for the greater good. And that is the end of my answer to the question, is Robert David Steele batshit crazy? <laughs>